hello 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 and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the wrapped in scraps channel my channel your channel our channel okay uh what are we doing today you guys know i like to just jump right on into it well right now we're at a red light and we're waiting uh we are on our way to home goods we have to go to home goods because we're looking for some wallpaper stick and peel or something like that that can go in the back of our china cabinet okay so um i repainted the china cabinet to the cobalt blue well it's kind of like a, it's a specialty color blue now the theme i'm kind of going for with my decor in my home is like a french hampton look okay because i love the beach um i love all the the nice freshy airy feeling of kind of like beach attire um in furniture but i love french country decor um, not too not too country-ish, but I love French decor, but not too heavy. So I figured a French Hampton look would be the look for me. Okay, I don't want to go French Renaissance and all that stuff. It's just a little bit too too do too dark and just a lot of fabrics and all of that jazz. And I'm all for fabric, but you know I'm just trying to make sure that I can incorporate the style without the style being too heavy in the in the room know what I mean okay so um, we plan on getting our floors done hopefully sometime this year but until then um, and then a sofa guys I cannot stand my sofa I redid my sofa and it was looking all right for a while until my kids got a hold of it I'm grateful to say my kids really don't hang out in my living room anymore um, before it seemed like I had to always fight to keep them out of there um, now they care more to be in their own space in their room which is great for me I've never really been one of those moms, and I've been a mom for 20-some years. I've never been one of those moms that kicked the kids out of the living room up until last year. Because what I noticed is that their room would be a mess, and then my living room would also then be a mess. From them playing in the living room, and I'm like, this is not the playground. This is not the playground. You want to play, go outside, you go upstairs to your room. So it took me 20 years, literally, to finally put my foot down and say, okay, no playing in this room here. Um, they ruined it for grandbaby. Grandbaby going to play with her toys in the guest room. Okay. Time for the outfit of the day right here in Lowe's, Home Joyans, wherever we are. Okay, outfit of the day. It's a little workout outfit there. You guys know I like my heels. We've got the coach purse. Nice little shawl. Little jewelry. I need to go get a field. Oh, and earrings. And let's move on. Really digging this little sink. This would be perfect for our little powder room. Okay, right. That one right there. So I can do that. Right. Some chandeliers, you guys. So you guys, I get super distracted when I go into Lowe's. I, me and my husband go there a lot for date night just to look around and see what's there and see what we might want to do to the house. It is a blast. I love going to Lowe's. Me and Lowe's have a relationship. And so anyhow, I came up on this stick and peel wallpaper by the Property Brothers. Um, and I found one that I liked. Again, my style that I'm going for is French Hampton. So I was looking at this one first. Then I decided to go with the blue little spots there. I like the texture of that. And then I checked out some frames and some curtains and then got back home so that I can finish painting. I am painting now. This beautiful blue, this is the same color blue that is in my craft room. It is a um, specialized blue that I scanned from a purse I had. So um, I'm adding the first coat and then when I'm done, I'll add another and I'll show you guys the results, okay? I won't bore you with me painting the giant cabinet. I know it's so dark in here, you guys. It's just kind of one of those like overcast, gloomy days. So I'm almost done. Still got to do that back corner there and pretty much another coat over the whole. All right, you guys, so just really quickly, this paper was relatively easy to put on, just a stick and peel. I highly recommend it. So I just added that last bit and so starting to add some of the pictures. We're, we're on 10 because... Yeah. 
All right, you guys, so I'm pretty much done with this one. I do need to order some glass for the two sides and maybe touch up a little bit of paint here and there. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the outcome. Again, the paper was by the Property Brothers. Um, I got that from Lowe's. And I painted all the hardware gold. All right, on to the next project. I'm also painting the coffee table. And like I said previously, this is not going to be my final um, pieces in here. This is just for now until I figure out what I finally want to do in this living room when it comes to sofa sets and all that type of jazz, okay? Once I figure all of that out, I'm pretty sure some of this will be going. But until then, we're gonna go ahead and keep it. So here you see me working on the other china cabinet. This china cabinet is probably the one that's gonna end up going because it doesn't really have a lot of French decor to it. It's kind of almost like farmhouse style. I just painted it blue and added the paper in there anyway. All right, you guys. Here is the cabinet. The stuff that's in it now, some of the pictures will stay. This is all pictures of my family, um, but some will go as well. But just wanted to show you how it turned out. So that's it, you guys. I know it was a quick video. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be posting more things later on next week. Stay wrapped in scraps. Stay loving you. Stay loving God. Stay loving life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.